Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamila Dora. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. If you are new, welcome. And if you're a channel subscriber, hi. So today we are going to be doing my favorite things of 2023. The year is about to come to an end, alhamdulillah. In all things, we are grateful. Don't forget to give gratitude, you know, whatever it is that you are thinking, you know, right about now and thinking about, oh, how did my 2023 2023 go um did i achieve anything did i accomplish anything but if you feel like you are under accomplished or you did not get anything um think about it you are alive <laughs> you know that is the biggest gift the gift of life is something we should really really be grateful for some people started this year and they are not here today some are not even going to be here tomorrow we are not even sure if our next second is guaranteed so be grateful for whatever situation or circumstances you are you are currently in some people would gladly gladly trade places so they can just come back and do one or two things and you know feel even more satisfied uh um than where they are right now so yeah just to put that out there and to start this video on a more positive note so let's get right into this video subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it As someone that is into lifestyle, I know I rave a lot. I, I rave about a lot of things on this channel. So, and I have shared a lot with you guys, things that I term as my favorite and they still are whatever it is I share with you guys. Just know that I genuinely love them. And if I don't, um, if I don't, I'm not going to bring something I don't like to you guys. So yeah, and I have listed out a few things um unlike before that i will bring like different videos for skincare for makeup for all that no in this video we are going to do everything in one skincare makeup and lifestyle and personal items so the first thing i have here is for skin skincare let us start with skincare i have three items here that i want to share with you guys that i absolutely absolutely love and reached out for the most in the year 2023 and let's get started so the first item I have on my list is the Genefic, is the Lancome Advanced Genefic um, product um, serum. So this serum is something I started to use earlier this year or late last year, if I am not mistaken. And the reason why I started it is because as someone in her mid-30s, I want to be able to keep this face looking like a face, like a baby girl's face i like i know people really like underestimate my age when they see me and i want it to remain that way there are people who come on this channel or send me dms so like hi jamila hi jamila there and i go see that these are kids that are these are people that are my baby even my baby brother is older than like i'll think you is older than them but you know i feel like it's because of how i present myself and it's not that they are just being disrespectful they, some people genuinely think i'm still in my 20s come to talk about my younger sister like people still think that she is in secondary school or just about to enter university and my older sister as well we have that gene but again if you're beautiful please bath as well so that is this is like a preventive routine that i feel like it has really really helped maintain the health of my skin in terms of um you know wrinkle i know people of my age that are already having fine lines and wrinkles and i don't want to be that there is nothing wrong with that as well it's a sign of aging but again when you kind of not don't have good products you can actually prematurely start aging for someone in my age group if you start having wrinkle if it's not genetics like maybe you are someone with just natural dry skin and all that then that is another case. But if you're not, what are you sitting and Why are you having wrinkles at age of 30, 40? Like leave it for the people that have really experienced life and have lived the age and, you know, leave it for them. So yeah, to prevent premature aging is the reason why I started using this and I it has really helped to combat some issues because I actually started noticing some really fine, fine lines under my eye and it is resolved. People see my skin and people have raved how, about how healthy, glowy, 
my skin looks and i can attribute it to this product so yeah if you are in your mid 30s or in short if you're in your 30s start using anti-aging products it is rich in hyaluronic acid and that is one thing that can help give you the good moisture balance that you need in your skin and you know as you are aging so yeah this is my favorite serum for the year it is the one i have used the most of if not only and yeah the next product that i have here is this clarins um, body oil this body oil is supposed to be a contour treatment kind of thing so if you're somebody with either that is on the thicker side and you are jiggly and you have given you have given birth to your mom and your body is not firm is not toned up this is what does it kind of reshapes and contours and reforms the elasticity elasticity of your skin and i have been using this for a year now and mashallah i love it i love how my toned my skin is i can't go into details but areas that I feel like they were a little bit loose, my skin is a little bit loose. Maybe let's say the tummy area because it has it has story to eat. I've given birth, pregnant three times, and all that. So I don't expect my stomach to be as toned up as I was when I was 18 or 20 or even before giving birth. However, I am also blessed with that genetics that the women in my mom's family they do have very firm skin. So but because of surgery, CS and all that, I do have loose skin here and there on my tummy area and I started using this and it has firmed up my skin and it's not just my tummy area, even the arm, jiggliness of your arm and all that. So if you're somebody that is experiencing all those things, your ties, your inner ties, like feeling all jiggly, all loose, you know, loose skin, it is important that you start combat you start taking steps to take care of those things and this oil even though it's on the high side in terms of price point it is one oil that delivers um i'm going to do a video on how i actually use this but clarence recommends to use it two three times in a week i don't i use it every day this is because i use it alongside my body lotion i mix it up my body lotion i love my body lotion to be really milky consistency so i mix this with my body lotion because again i'm all about ease and hack and i'm a mom i am on the go i don't have time to layer body lotion layer oil all at the same time so and sunscreen so i combine all of this in my routine in my body product and i'm able to use it and it keeps me consistent and i have seen results so this is my favorite body oil for the year 2023 the next product that i have here quickly is something i have also raved about on the channel and is the super good glow screen sunscreen um yeah glow sunscreen rather is a super glue goop so glow <laughs> i can't talk anymore so deep breath now i have raved about this product on this channel and it is a super goop glow screen sunscreen so I have to add the sunscreen so that you know that it is a sunscreen. It is a protective layer, the last layer you use on your skin. By now, you should know what sunscreen is. If you've been a member of this channel for the longest, if you're new, welcome. I tell you how to take care of your skin, motivate you, inspire you on how to live a home, wholesome life, you know, lifestyle. Yeah, so that is what we do on this channel. So if you like what you see, subscribe and let's get right into this. I have this right under my makeup right now. I also used a glowy product under my makeup uh, as my base for this makeup. And you see how it's still holding up. A lot of people avoid sunscreen if you're a makeup lover people avoid sunscreen but what you don't know sunscreen does is that it adds glow to your makeup base like sunscreen a good good sunscreen is kind of glassy it gives you a glassy finish to your skin and that is that protective layer that you are getting so there are half the time i walk around <laughs> with just sunscreen on my face it is better than moisturizer for me it gives me that healthy look glow on my skin so yeah this has been a favorite i have this i travel with this all the time even though i have another sunscreen that i use a mineral sunscreen this is a chemical sunscreen and i just love how it is another thing that makes me love it is that if you just want to be on the go just apply sunscreen and it looks like you have makeup on this is 
what you need yeah so this is my favorite sunscreen of the year 2023 so the second um the second category that i have is makeup 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 i did not do lots of makeup this year i also did not buy makeup products this year i can't remember if i bought any makeup products this year and if i did excuse that i might oh i did i think i did did i no i did not most of the makeup products that i bought were from last year sephora end of the year sale and yeah so yeah i haven't really gotten any makeup product this year however i do have two products that i have been loving in the last in the whole year of 2023 and that is the charlotte tilbury sun uh, sorry setting spray this charlotte tilbury setting spray this is party all night stay all day and it is true to what it says i have it that is what i've been using to seal my makeup in the last whatever once i started using it last year i've been stocking up on it if you watch my sephora haul video for this year i have already stock up on so uh, on another set that i will use for the whole of next year inshallah life allah spares my life and yeah so i love this it gives that airbrush finish just like it says this does seal makeup i have sprayed in this makeup and you know with the sujude with the sujude and it did not budge the makeup did not move anywhere once upon a time you would have, i will be creating content i need to pray i always create my content in such a way i make would do then make ad, apply my makeup malams have talked about that so long as you have would do you can perform you can do your makeup <laughs> so don't come for me <laughs> so yeah and you know when you do your sujude it, it will move your makeup is much but with this one you perform your you add you perform your salad in a very comfortable, convenient, and not be scared of putting your forehead to the ground because as like a freelance, I don't know if people do that, but I'm just saying that if you're someone that is always skeptical of doing sujud after, <laughs> I don't know why this is funny, but I don't know why you'd be skeptical. So if you cannot perform salads with your makeup, why are you applying makeup? Sincerely, that is it. But like your makeup should not get in the way of your salad. But again, this is just one certain spray that, you know, you can do a lot of activities in and it's your makeup is going to stay still. The second product, I only have to make two products in my makeup category, is my brow pencil. I have been reaching for this ABH Brow Wiz pencil. It is a micro pencil that... It is hard for me to find micro pencils that show up on my skin, on my hair, because my brow is very, very thick. And, oh my goodness, this just broke out. And this does show up. You see how it's showing up on my skin? It does show up on my brows. I've been reaching for it. In short, I've been using only it. Um, if I'm not using it, I will definitely be reaching out for my NYX, my NYX brush, which I used for this makeup look today. But the previous video, the pre last makeup look before this makeup look i used this one and yeah the make the video where i talked about beauty is pain i used the abh and it shows up on my brows it's well pigmented and i love it the next category i have is personal item this is a tricky one because i can't choose a favorite perfume but i have it here because one thing i have done a lot of in 2023 is buy a lot of perfumes and use a lot of perfumes i still have not finished and emptied any bottle but i figured that compared to other years or previous years i I barely reach for perfumes like that even though i have a lot of them i just wouldn't use as much as you know i would normally love to use and even layering would be an issue for me but all laziness you know i would pick i would use but this time around this year i just noticed that i used a lot more perfumes and bought a lot more than i than previous years um one perfume that if i had here i would have mentioned would be the carolina herrera good girl perfume i used that a lot in nigeria in short is like it was the only perfume then the kiwi is it no no not kiwi now 
the new Huda, no, Keali perfume, pistachio, yummy pistachio. I used a lot of that as well, but because of how much I love all the perfumes I bought and used this year, it is very, very hard for me to pick one. It is going to look like, mm, but you said you love that one, mm, but you said you love the other one, but I love all of them. So I don't want to peach tent so that you guys will not feel like i'm not being genuine with you all but in recent time the one perfume that i've just been using is still the jador the jador christian Dior jador perfume that is because i just got it and there's just something about that like if you're even feeling like i'm some kind of way i don't know if it has some ferm um, pheromone in it that so i can't use that out I was telling my friend, like, if you wear that perfume, people can trace you. They will trail you they, because it's going to lead them to wherever you're hiding. So I can't really use that out except I'm with my significant other. However, at home, it's just that feel good. You smell like money. You feel like you have money, you know, but you don't have money. But... <laughs> It is the perfume. It is the perfume that is making me feel this way. Trust me, I've used it today. I've smelt it. This isn't the clothes I wore to create this makeup look. So it's the one. For gadgets, I have a category here for gadgets. And the reason why I have a category here for gadgets is because one of my phones came through for me this year. And you guys will be surprised to say that, for me to say that my iPhone was the phone for me this year i have two phones i probably am over my samsung phone that is why i am not i am managing it this is i am always changing my samsung phones like every year but i don't think i've changed in the last two years i didn't change last year i also did not change this year did i change last year did i i can't remember i think i this is the s22 ultra that i have so last year it doesn't matter however i never ever use my iphone to create content because i just feel like there is something off about iphones i don't quite like it i love my like okay the reason why i don't like my iphone that much is because with samsung i can pause i can continue but samsung iphone does not give you all those features that samsung gives to you pro video all those things but this year, because of the amount of vlogs I created and how easy it is for me to transfer my content from my phone to my laptop, I use a MacBook with, an, with, um, with my iPhone, you know, easy, airdrop, all that. I reached for my iPhone a lot more than I reached for my Samsung in terms of content creation. Not that I did not use my Samsung, I just did not use it for my YouTube channel, I used it more for like short Instagram reels and all that. That is how, because of how convenient again it is, like I can be shooting 10 minutes. I have a whole reel filmed in one go, right? So I'm pausing in between scenes and all that. But yeah, I absolutely adored my iPhone this year. Um, I've used the money <laughs> out of it, used the life out of it and I can't wait to see how many more contents I will create. Will I be ditching I Samsung? No, I can't wait for February to come to change my Samsung. I am over this one already because the battery is dying up on me and all that. So I'm just managing it till February, inshallah. And yeah, another gadget I am grateful for. In short, two more gadgets, my gimbal. My gimbal, when I got it, I feel like this year is the year I used it a lot more because of my content creation as well for reels, for convenience of the um, ratio where in which I take this thing. So it came true, but I don't have it close by. I can see it, but I can't, I don't even want to stress myself. The other gadget that I feel like I am so happy I invested in it last year is my vlogging camera my nikon camera i absolutely am grateful for it that i have it it had it made content creation super breezy super easy easy breezy for me and i i just kind of it kind of gave me different direction and perspective towards my creativity 
compared to when you use your phone when you have a camera you can your angles even though i did not maximize a lot of it it is a learning process because it's just one year ago i got it so I have learned a lot, you know, in the last one year in how I use it to create content and evolving with it. I feel like come 2024, inshallah, I will be able to do more. I'm going to invest in a wide angle lens, even though I still love my my lens as it is, because it's not, I can restrict the amount of I this thing, but again, the bokeh effect that this one is giving now, I don't get it all the time. So I can invest in that. And also maybe when I invest in the lens, I can also get better quality picture and light into it. But it is good. I love it. And I'm grateful that I was able to invest in that last year. If you are a content creator, not to discourage you, not to also put pressure on you. But if you really want to elevate your content, if you can invest in a camera, please do so because using your phone um using your phone and all that I, like i said i'm using my phone i use my iphone but most of my content is still from my camera the convenience of creating Thinking about that, I'm going to add one, but yeah, here I had favorite activity. My favorite activity that I did this year is to write a lot more. I was able to journal a little bit more than usual, not just write my journals, also pen down my books. Like I have been writing books in my head, but this time around, I have been able to write down books, hopefully come 2024. I should be able to launch, um, publish one of my books. And there is a love story book. There is a lifestyle book. And there is a book about me, which I don't know, that is not even coming to life anytime soon. But here yeah, between a lifestyle book and a rom romantic novel let me know which one you would like to see first don't put pressure on me but inshallah i am going to work hard towards um finishing one of those books and the last piece of item i this is just something that came to mind because i just started using it is my full coverage under under um hijab under scarf hijab i got this because i want to be able to a big full coverage when i create content being intentional about myself as a muslim woman and representing myself properly and i stumbled upon this and i started researching and i came upon this i bought from amazon flimsy but i ended up buying this one even not knowing that i actually placed the amazon order i thought i did not so this is from culture hijab and this is very very good good quality i fell in love with it more today when i was wearing this clothes because this is one clothes i really stay away from because of this neck and yeah so when i was changing into it and i realized i still had this on i didn't even need to take it off and I just, it just, you know, I just wore this clothes over it and my neck was concealed, my chest was concealed and I was like, Alhamdulillah, I don't have to worry. So, and again, another thing is, I, you know, if you are applying makeup, it's just a protective layer for your veils because I know how many veils I have had to throw away because of stains, makeup stains from some foundation stains would not come off some certain hijab fabrics not because of the foundation but because of the fabric itself so yeah and yeah look it look at it now
your experiences with me of 2023, your favorite things of 2023. And yeah, let's continue the conversation in the comment section. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and see you in my next video. Bye and stay blessed.